So we hatch a batch of eggs in the and lab. And where do you get them? From the poultry breeders who supply oh, them to the battery. The yes, yeah, so or some might go to farms, but either way. So either way, they're going to be... Yes, by 12 weeks, they'll be plucked and lying on their backs. In a supermarket. On your table. So you're not taking the life. I am taking the life. But even if you didn't, they'd still be... Well, they wouldn't live to be old chickens, no. Okay, so you've got the chickens and... About a day old, fluffy, like little you yellow... You do some Easter. experiment on them. What we do is we get them to peck. Because chicks do peck a lot. They peck at everything. And what we do is we get them to peck at beads that have been dipped either in water or some stuff that tastes bitter. Not poison? No. No, it makes them wipe their beaks on the floor and then they're fine again. And of course, we're writing all of this down. Which chick, which bead, and how many pecks? And then my colleague injects a tiny amount of very slightly radioactive liquid into each side of the chick's brain. So oh, no, stop. I know, but they don't seem... It doesn't hurt. Like they don't show any... Okay. So what's it for? It's going to show up something in their brains. Because what we've injected has a sugar in it that gets used up by the nerve cells. Now, the more sugar used up, the more brain activity. And the radioactivity acts as a tracer, like in a scanner. So you can measure that and see exactly where in the brain the sugar is. So the idea is that it's different in the what different... What we hope to see, you see, is that it is different... Depending on the, what they've learned about yes, the... Yes, because we give them the beads again, and they have learned, because the ones that peck the beads with water come back and peck it again. And the ones who didn't... They the won't ones, peck it. The ones that peck the bitter bead have learned not to peck it. That's terrific. But that is not what we're finding out. What we're finding out... Changes in the brain. Exactly. Which changes in the brain correspond so to that So to do memory. that, you have to... Yes, so I hold the bird in my left hand and I quickly cut off its head with a big pair uh. of scissors. That drop the body in a bucket, take the head, peel back the skin, cut around the skull, and there's the brain. There's the brain. So I put that in a dish with some ice, and then my colleague cuts it into slabs with a razor blade. Then he dissects out tiny samples which he puts into test tubes that are immediately frozen. While meanwhile, I am taking the brain out of the next chick. Yeah. And that's what I do. And then you analyze? Yes, and there is a substantial increase. In, so in you the, can measure. Um, and, and not just an increase, but exactly where. Because if you slice the... Slice the brain. The, slice the frozen brain into thin sections and put it on slides, you get pictures. You can see. You can see, exactly, depending on how dark. And you can convert it into false colours, which, of course, looks... Um, prettier? Prettier, yes, and easier to read, though the information is the same. Which is? That the learning takes place on the left side of the brain. And you can see... And, and there's another version where you can stain the sample with silver salts and then you can count all the new spines from the dendrites, which oh, are... yes, the little tiny... Yes, because at that degree of magnification, a thumbnail would be 250 metres wide. So you can see the memory? Yes, you can see the actual changes. See what the chick learned about the bead. Page 42. Page 42, yeah. yeah. Uh, the sentence beginning on the 21st of May. Yes, I've got it. I'm afraid that's going to have to go. Why is that? The Minister of Defence considers it a breach of security. It's not classified information. That is nevertheless their view. Have you got a lot of these? Uh, about 30. Let's hear the next one then. I had the screen. Shh. this dream last night. I was in a garden and there were these blackberries 
big bushes of brambles. I was picking them and then this butterfly flew across and I could see this orange and black butterfly really clearly on a yellow rose. But then the whole thing was a dance and I was at the ballet and I looked all these things up on a website about dreams, butterflies, blackberries, ballet, and every single one means infidelity. So now I know he's cheating. So you don't feel that you have to be faithful to him anymore? No. Why should I? So that leaves the way clear for us. Don't you think? Unless it's not about him. (laughs) Who then? You. You and me. That would mean we're definitely going to do it. So either way. Either way. (laughs) So we went to war on a complete... Yes, but how were they to know? They did know. They knew. He'd already admitted it wasn't true to the Germans and the CIA knew. But Bush and Blair didn't know. Did you want to know? Well, they had to rely on... They wanted it to be true. They thought it was true. Everyone thought. Well, not everyone. No, plenty of people. I, I didn't. I always knew it wasn't true. Oh, you can't have known. I always knew it was made up stuff. And how did you know? Because of what America's like, what it wanted to do. You didn't know it was made up. You wanted it to be made up, and that's what you wanted to be true. Yeah, and it turns out I was right, didn't it? Uh, Do you think you've just won an argument? What did you have for lunch on October the 3rd, 1998? Chicken soup and salad. I was at home. I had the chicken soup in a blue bowl. The salad had tomatoes, chicory and lettuce in it, but no onion because... I didn't want my breath to smell of onions when I went to the movies with my brother that afternoon. Uh, the movie started at 2.15. What was the movie? Godzilla. What happened in it? Do the whole thing, shot by shot. Can you do that? Let's not do that. Okay, I remember Godzilla. It's a lizard that's been irradiated by a nuclear explosion, so it's a monster goes to New York, and the American military drops bombs on it. It's the one. What did you do afterwards? I walked back to my brother's place. We had poached eggs on toast. I had two cups of tea from his red mug, the one with the chip in it. Hmm. What was the weather like? Rain in the morning, but it cleared up. Rain in the evening and rain the next morning. June the 6th, 2004. The girl waits at the door of her house on the mountain. What it literally says is mountain girl door. So maybe a girl from the mountain is waiting outside my door. A girl climbs the mountain and comes to a door. Uh, To get the girl, you have to go through a door into the mountain. The mountain is a door only a girl can open. The girl is as big as a mountain and can't get through the door. What's the next line? 